Hello everyone, Josh first back again with some more overhit. Now today we're going to be starting the video off with a little issue that I'm having currently with another YouTuber over some misinformation, some falsified information that I just want to get cleared up because I don't want the community to be led astray. Um, and then when we get that done, we're going to go move over to another part of the video where we're actually going to be talking about some of the differences between the Korean version and the global version. Um, we're going to be looking at some of those things in the global version, kind of how they work, how good they are. Um, you know, kind of just to get everybody a little bit educated on the state of the game currently. Now, this is before the full global release, so we might get even more things on top of that. So, it'll just be a good little way to kind of showcase the differences and get everybody kind of on the same page here of what's going down. But, we're going to be starting the video off with Scion Storm. Now, I did not want to make a video. I had no intentions to make a video until he did the unthinkable. Okay, so he made a video called Overhit Global Launch May 30th Dev Q&A Response Showcasing New Characters uh, Korean Version. That's fine. So he was going over the new dev notes, which I've already covered here on the video, or sorry, on the channel um, in a uh, prior video to this. And he was kind of skimming through it, reading over everything. He kind of gave a lot of, you know, misinformation. He didn't really seem like he understood the full source material. Um, which is fine, you know, being wrong does does not make you a criminal, doesn't make you a bad guy, everybody can be wrong, you know, we're all human, right? That's not the issue. So, you know, I went to the comment section, and I left him a comment. I tried to be uh, somewhat as professional as possible to kind of tell him a little bit about what was wrong with his video. You know, freedom of speech comment section, I was trying to give him, you know, some information. Um, because somebody showed me this video and they told me that he was saying things that didn't add up So I wanted to clarify because he has you know a big audience He's got 30 some thousand subscribers whatever who knows how many people is following him on the overhit side But I didn't want him to misinform a community and give them a bad impression of the game when there was no reason for it So I tried to clarify some of those things and with my comment I said the Korean version took a massive hit lately in sales and player base numbers due to many issues with the game. Thus, they changed it and fixed it up. Uh, many of the mistakes for global, which is what they did. They've shown that already. That um, you know, I've heard other YouTubers that played the game, you know, religiously in the Korean version, talking about all the problems with power creeping and some of the other issues that they had. How you know, building up character development was pretty long, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. When they released the actual soft launch, I noticed a lot of those things were different or changed, and in some cases for the better. But we're going to talk about that in the second part of the video. But anyway, so I tried to bring that up. I said such changes were the inclusion of the Trek missions in the pity system for SSR with Legendary Gacha, which we will be talking about that quite a bit in today's video. And I do apologize, today's video may be a little bit long. Bear with me. Okay? So, then we have... The, son, the soft launch already got four amazing events, which it did. The four events that we've had currently on the soft launch have been phenomenal. I mean, I cannot complain about those at all. And you guys know I'm one to complain. If there's an issue, I'll tell you guys about it. You guys know that. If you actually play the soft launch, you know that these things and understand why they are better. Hell, only needing three gears um, pieces instead of six is getting high praises from the player base. So a lot of the player base that play on the Korean side that I've talked to within the actual Overhit Global Discord, not my own Discord, but the actual Overhit Global one, were pretty excited and happy and thrilled a little bit about the the deduction, the reduction rather, in the time investment that you need for gear. Um, getting three gear is hard enough. Getting six is abysmal. You guys know that, you know, from you guys playing Epic Seven here on the channel. Uh, from Epic Seven players, you guys know all about the hellish grind. It is for six pieces of gear. Okay. Then he said, bruh, shut it. You realize I actually work with Nexon, right? You know, he's playing that brute mentality. I'm bigger than you. I'm better than you type of, you know, whatever. I don't really care. You know, Sion, that shit doesn't work with me. Okay. I've been in discussions and higher level debates with much bigger YouTubers than you, man. So, like, that to me is just, I brush that off. Like, what is the point of even doing that? Um, and I actually had a sponsored video for the launch, right? You know, I don't know the verifications on that. You know, I'm just taking him what he says. Okay, sure, you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't know if you did. Okay, sure. Um, and no, it isn't the Korean version. So take your fanboying back to your channel. I didn't even mention the SRs, which, why does that even matter? And I said in the video <clears throat> that I don't mind it. And the massive hit you're talking about has nothing to do with global version. 
um you know it's from the same company it's the same game different versions i'm pretty sure anything that affects one community is going to somehow affect the other that's just the way games work you know when they're all ran by the same company and this hit happened four months ago not recently you being a trump clone i don't know what why he brought politics into it never bring politics religion or race into any chat guys on the internet that's always just you know immature never do it i'm immature i know i am um i complain a lot rant and stuff like that. that's just what i do i try to be truthful within all that but yeah never bringing in politics um ever into a discussion like this this is not a political debate why are you bringing trump our president you know at least of, of my country into it like why well, okay i'm a trump clone makes no sense but all right have a seat kid actual influencers are talking influencers i mean i don't know if he's talking to the voice inside him head in his own head or if he's talking to somebody else i don't know but influencers is telling me there's more than one person but i mean if he's just directing himself and his god essence as well you know whatever i have no idea but um yes i have children so i'm not a kid i'm actually much older i'm probably much older than you scion but that's fine um so we're gonna skip we're not gonna talk about his you know his his sheep that are hating on me or whatever that's fine he's his subscribers they're gonna go and defend their their youtuber you know that happens um and i said okay how about you learn to make a video that's informative with some knowledge on the topic kid you know just basically throwing some shade back because he threw it my threw it my way um you know fair game now i try to be professional and you didn't want to go that route uh you can throw the whole i was sponsored shit all around you want uh <laughs> you still were very misinformed in this video telling people if it's not korean version nobody cares and he said that multiple times in his video if you don't believe me you can watch it i'm not gonna link it because i'm not gonna give him any kind of free you know oh go check this guy out i mean you guys can see him you know his name you can search him on google youtube whatever you can you can find the video yourselves um great advice and logic no wonder you are not sponsored anymore if you really even was um i already taught you math no idea <laughs> do i need to teach you ethics next um what i'm referring to is you guys should know my last video that i did revolving Sion is he made a response video to me um basically just shitting all over me um completely unprovoked he came to my comment section just started shit whatever um so i had to make a video in response to that to clear that up because he then again made a very in uninformative video so i had to clear that up and like i don't know why he continues to do that uh he seems to have a lot of drama with youtubers within his own communities that he does settle on because he plays a lot of games but i don't know he just seems to be like that whatever um so you're probably wondering okay so what is the issue you know social media beef here uh internet beef youtuber beef whatever okay well the problem we'll get into in about two minutes let me go to the next one this is the other area this is the other comment that i posted on um some youtuber nation uh nation of gamination um, i don't i'm assuming he's probably a subscriber or maybe he's just a viewer he says people are calling bs on the legendary summons it supposedly doesn't even work like that more like a mileage system now we're going to talk about what that actually that gotcha system actually does later in the video and sound replies all it is is basically is the same thing that exists are in a korean version now i've played a korean version and that does not exist it is not there it is not there and you're gonna really see how dumb this really gets in a moment and i said simply it does not exist in korean version he says josh first dumbass i have a video using it laugh aloud okay enough of you i can take but so much stupid in the comment section and then i replied bud you just read this in your own video for crying out loud now this is where it gets really stupid i gazoed a picture you know it's kind of like imager but it's like an instant image snap that you can upload to a browser link and send it to people and i said i mean hot damn and then you know jesus uh had a couple of comments there that actually just more you know more or less clarified what i said um and i'm actually gonna go and open that image up right now okay so this was actually uh screenshotted from the actual dev notes that we got earlier today which i already made a video about that on my in my, my you know my prior video to this one for overhit um and it says clearly clear as day and and remember this guys scion read this very same thing in this video okay and remember the comment that he left okay remember this comment 
He says, dumbass, I have a video using it. The problem is, guys, it doesn't is it exist in the Korean version. And right here's some more clarification. This is due to the different service philosophies as described above, and players should note that we've included other features to compensate for this difference. For example, there is a special legendary gacha that exists only, I repeat only, in the global version that allows you to obtain the highest great SSR heroes guaranteed, not by chance, and that does not exist in the Korean version. And I even went back and looked at the video that he was probably referring to where he played the Korean version and he did some summons. Uh, I believe it was like late last year or earlier this year and it still wasn't there. I conferred with several YouTubers, no, I'm sorry, several users that play the Korean version right now and over at Discord and they also confirmed this is not there. And Overhit themselves right here confirmed it is not there. So I don't know what Scion is talking about, but it doesn't exist. Now, like I said, being wrong is fine. He could have been completely wrong. He could have just been spewing be, uh, bullshit out of his mouth. Whatever. That's fine. It's okay to be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. People are wrong. That's fine. It's not a crime to be wrong. It's not wrong to be wrong. People are just going to be people. This is where it gets wrong. And let me show you. I'm going to log into one of my other YouTube accounts. Okay? I'm just going to log into one of my other ones here. I'm going to go ahead and log into, let's say, this one here. Okay. Let me go ahead and just turn that volume back down. Sorry about that. Okay. So, now that we're logged into my other YouTube account, as you can see here, um, we're going to go back to my post. And you're going to notice something quickly. My second comment for this is missing because he deleted it. Now, when you get a message deleted, if you're the person who made the message, you'll still see it, if, even if he hides it from the channel or deletes it. You'll still see it. But if other people try to see it, it's not going to be there. So what Sion is doing here is he's manipulating the comment section to roll in his favor because he doesn't like to be told he's wrong. If you look at my videos, you'll see countless arguments where I'll go 40, 50 comments deep debating with a fellow user because that's what the comment section is for it's about discussions it's about debating even if you're wrong or right it's about hashing it out in a more more or less civilized way as best as possible um even if it gets flame even if you start getting like heated passionate comments whatever it doesn't matter that's what the comment section is for what he essentially is doing is manipulating the comment section to rule in his favor even if he's wrong or right, he's just trying to make a point that he is dominant on his channel. Nobody shall, you know, step into the lion's den because you're going to get hurt. That kind of mentality. And it's just a little bit ridiculous. And he does it again as well. That's not the only comment that he deleted. He actually deleted, I believe he just, wow, did he just outright, no, here it is. So the Nation of uh, Gamination, you'll notice my second comment is also missing from here as well and other people have confirmed and the only reason i knew this is because other people in the overhead discord in my own discord told me that my comments were missing and i was like i that's that's crazy so i logged into another youtube channel and discovered it is indeed missing so what we have here is scion storm manipulating the comment section to make his point even when i clear as day 100 percent checkmate on this comment where he was completely flat out wrong and lying at the same time he removed that comment he didn't want people to see that comment that comment was not going to help his cause so he had to remove it <sighs> so there you have it guys i did not want to make i didn't even expect to make this type of video but i cannot stand by and let people lie and manipulate users when you are a YouTube channel. You are a content creator. You make content. You're supposed to be this guy who's getting sponsorships from all these game companies or whatever to make got to make videos that they're paying you for or providing you with some kind of compensation for putting their trust into you to make them out to be, you know, not good or bad, but give them the facts, give them the information. And like I said, being wrong is not a bad thing. Everybody's wrong. 
But when you are flat out lying and then manipulating comments to rule in your favor, that's when you're going too far. That's when you lose my respect. I didn't lose respect for you, Sion, until this moment. Um, I didn't really like you. I didn't like your attitude. You probably didn't like me. That's fine. But I still respected you as a content creator because you did content. You make videos. It's not an easy job to do by no means. It's very stressful. It is very stressful. A lot of you that don't know this, but if you try to be full-time YouTube, if you try to pursue that, it is highly stressful. You have basically internal deadlines that you need to meet constantly, and it becomes very overwhelming, especially if you're trying to play gotcha games, and they're very grind-heavy in their own right, and you're trying to cover them in the best way you can, so you have to play them out. But when you go this route and start manipulating comments, you're going too far, and you have to be accountable for something like this. This is beyond stupid. Why would somebody who's three times my size need to manipulate their comment sections to roll in their favor? You're already going to win the battle. You're on, you know, I'm in your territory. I'm on your comment section. You're already going to win no matter what I say. You've won. Your comment section will roll in your favor because they're your subscribers. They're going to come and defend you. And that is admirable. That is fine. But this... Why? Why the need, Sion? What was the purpose behind this? You know, you don't need to showcase your authority by doing things shady like this. This just makes you look bad. But anyways, guys, so that's going to be it for that portion of the video. Stay tuned for the next part where I'm actually going to be talking about the differences between global and the Korean version. So hope you guys do enjoy that. Sorry again, this video is quite long. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Um, you know, like I said, if you want to stay around for part two, go ahead. Um, otherwise, you can tap out now. Um, drop a like if you did. Comment below what you guys think. Um, subscribe if you want. Um, I expect some hate from this because obviously. Um, but that's fine. But anyways, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you guys stick around for the second part, I do appreciate it. Until then, peace. Hey guys, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and say hello in the comment section below, and I'll try to like as many of those comments as I possibly can. So guys, if you made it through the first part and you're finally here, or if you just skipped ahead to this part, welcome. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. So, we're going to be discussing some of the good things that came from the changes in Global compared to the Korean version. Now, in this version, one of the things that we have are a double pity system. So if we actually go to the banner down here at Gotcha. You'll notice that we have a uh, summon, you know, a guaranteed SR per multi-summon you do. Now, that also counts with your summon tickets. We've been given a lot of free tickets through the soft launch so far in the first month of the, of the release of the soft launch. We've gotten several tickets. We've gotten several multis and stuff like that as well. So, a lot of players by now, after the first month, have a lot of SRs. A lot of them are dupes as well, probably. There's quite a few players that probably have, you know, two or three maxed out SRs, maybe even more. Um, you know, lots of opportunities for SRs, etc. So, what's really good is the pity system, of course, is going to give you a guaranteed SR. I believe they have that as well in the Korean version. But what they don't have is the legendary gotcha. The legendary gotcha gives you UR shards, I believe, every... What was it? Every two or three. Let me double check. Okay, two, four, six, eight, and ten. So, basically, every hundred summons, you're going to be able to go into the legendary gacha. And every 200 summons, basically 20 multis, you're going to be able to grab these UR shards. Now, these UR shards are very, very important. And we're going to talk about what those do in the game as well. Um, so, stick with me again. I do apologize. This is a very long video. But I've tried to keep it as informative as possible. So, what is the Legendary Gacha and why is it good? So, if you go back to the regular banner, you'll notice up here at the top, you get these SSR Soul Stones, which are also very, very nice. And again, you get these every, I believe, 20 mul or I'm sorry, every two multis. Every two multis, you get additional uh, Soul Stones, and these go all the way up to a World Shard times 30. Once you've done 10 multi summons in this banner, you'll get 30 world shards. When you get 30 world shards, you can do one summon in the legendary gacha. So basically, it's a 100 summon pity system, or 10 multis rather. Um, 
and if you play this game daily and do your dailies and do some a little bit of grinding here and there you're gonna be able to do i would safely say at least a few multis per month easily and this is before any events or anything else is added this is just purely from the daily stuff that they give you from doing your dailies and you know your day-to-day -day stuff that you normally grind out so you're gonna be able to do at least several you should be able to do at least a few multis per month okay per month um freely fully free to play now this is before if you want to whale out or whatever that's fine too but basically you get these ssr soul stones soul stones give you basically shards for various ssr heroes if you get 50 of a character's shards you can then pull for that character guaranteed you basically can go and turn in your tickets go to the crafting section and craft that ssr hero so again more layers basically of pity systems if you really want to break it down there's a lot of pity in this game <laughs> a lot of pity which is good which is a great thing so anyways so when you do your 10 multis and you get your 30 shards you then go over to the gotcha and you summon on your legendary gotcha now the legendary gotcha okay is a 10 percent chance to get an ssr pickup which i like to just call a legendary ssr it's one of these three characters you see featured on the banner and a 90 percent chance for just a normal ssr but no matter what you're guaranteed an sr or higher i'm sorry an ssr or higher um ludmilla uh aglaia i probably butchered her name and edmund are um the three legendary ssrs that you can pull in this banner and then you have all the normal ssrs like gordon esta hian blossom elfie all the way down pretty much all the available heroes currently in the game that are ssrs but no matter what you're guaranteed to get at least an ssr or higher and these again are the three characters available and got in the legendary gotcha you do not need to spend money for legendary gotcha i know a lot of people thought that or were saying that on social media complaining about it on reddit it's completely 100 percent false you do not need to spend a dime for legendary gotcha you don't have to spend a dime that's completely false and as you can see i've done a legendary dot <laughs> rip i've done a legendary gotcha five times so far and if i kept pushing i could probably pull out another one before the global launch releases by the end of the week but there's no point because i'm going to be restarting over on, glo on global anyway but as you can see i've done quite a lot of summoning on this game and i haven't spent a penny so it's very free to play friendly already on soft launch and this is before we get any of the global updates that they want to add other content to the game all that other stuff this is just bare bones what the game is offering me as is and you know i just wanted to make people clear of that i want to give people the right idea like I said, if the game has issues or if it gets issues in the future, I will talk about them. You know that. You guys know Josh first. You guys have been here. Some of you have been here for two plus years. You know what I'm all about. I give you the hard truth. Even if I get hate for it, you guys know I'm here for you 100%. But like I was talking about earlier, you also get these UR shards. Now, these UR shards, um, I'm not sure if these are in Japan. I'm pretty damn sure they're not. I don't believe they're in Korea, though, because I don't believe Korea has URs. I think that's... A global only thing it might be in japan as well because i haven't really looked into japan uh the japan version but I, i'm pretty damn sure they're not in the korea version but those heroes are very powerful we're going to show you a little bit about those real quick we're going to go to crafting and we're going to go to synthesize uh, synthesized soul stone and this is what i'm talking about with all the shards so you'll notice if i like click a character you'll look down here you'll see i got 22 out of 50 of these shards um when i get 50 of those i'll be able to grab another rise I'll be able to grab another SSR rise. Um, but here are the URs. Now, these URs are not easy to get. These are end-game level characters. If you guys are watching this and you're coming from Epic 7, consider these Moonlight 5 stars. Hands down. The best way I can compare them for you. These are Moonlight 5 stars. These are not supposed to be easy to get. And they're very, very extremely powerful. They have amazing leader abilities. They have amazing base stats. They have very good skills. Both of these here. We got Rhea, and then we got uh, Anamone, uh, Anamone, however you want to say her name. And these you can get as well, 100% free to play. And doing the Legendary Gods as much as you possibly can as well throughout your gaming experience is going to give you more of those shards. Now, there's other ways to get these shards as well, um, you know, through RNG, and they may add some events and stuff like that in the future to get them too. Um, there's people on social media like, oh my god, you need like 50 grand to get uh, the UR characters that you need up where you need them up to. No, you don't. Maybe if you want to get a maxed out UR character like today, but 
why would that's insanity if someone's willing to spend that kind of money more power to them but you don't have to spend a dime to get your urs and to be honest as good as the urs are getting just one copy and or maybe even one copy with a dupe is going to be very very strong and we're talking these are late late game characters guys these aren't something that you should be aiming for on day one okay these are very end game characters and by the way again they're free to get if you have patience they're free to get all the ssrs currently in the game if you have the patience are free to get i repeat free free okay so these are some of the things that the global version is offering right now that is extremely helpful another thing that is global exclusive um to the japanese version i'm sorry to the korean version rather is trek missions trek missions are probably the best free to play feature i have seen in a long time in a gotcha basically it is your nest egg it is where you're going to go to collect a majority of your resources we have um fairy summon tickets fairies are they give you a certain element and then that boosts um, your character's EXP of the same element even further. You could use it on any element you want, but they get an additional stat boost. I'm sorry, EXP boost if you use the same element of a character. Kind of like if you get a fire fairy, you want to feed into a fire hero. Simple enough, right? You also can um, get your elixirs, all different elements of your elixirs to use to, you know, invest in the grades um, for your characters. Get them up, you know, from D, C, B to A to S or whatever. Same thing goes for the rainbow elixirs. Rainbow elixirs are a very high commodity. You definitely want to grab them as much as you can because you want to use them to S grade your characters as much as possible because that's literally going to be maxing their grade out, giving them a major stat boost. You also get skill runes. You get the low grade skill runes and you even get bonus high grade skill runes. These are going to be used to skill up your characters. Basically, consider these Molagoras. But guess what? You get these Molagoras all day, every day through the Trek missions for free. You don't have to buy a Molagora pack. <laughs> um, we also get Dimension Gems. These are the actual premium currency in the game to buy things, including summons. You get these for free as well. And if you farm enough of your Trek missions during the day, if you like are a hardcore player, you're playing like several hours, like maybe five, six hours, you're going to be able to do quite a few Trek missions. Um, you're going to be able to like do some of the bigger ones that you're going to wait till the next day to collect. And then you're going to do a lot of your little ones that you can collect every couple hours and do that periodically throughout the day, gaining a lot of your resources. This is going to be, again, your nest egg. This is how you build up your resources. This is not in the Korean version. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Trek missions are heaven sent, in my opinion, for a free-to-play player. Um, so you have some of those things to consider. A little bit different from the Korean version. Now, things to note. The Korean version obviously has more modes and more characters available because it's been out for nearly two years. This global version, they have a completely different UI. If you actually look at the UI in this version and go look at a YouTube video for the UI inside the uh, korean version is completely different i feel like the global version of ui is actually superior because it's a little bit more modernized it's a little more simplistic it's a little bit more minimalistic if you guys ever heard of that term minimalistic um a lot of people use that in the web design world which is what i do so it's it definitely looks cleaner it's more appealing um a little bit more eye candy if you will than the korean version so that's another uh, in my opinion an upgrade if you will um you know, one thing to note, though, the drop rates, of course, are 2% instead of 5% in, a in the Korean version. So you guys can look at that however you want. But then again, keep in mind, they do not have the legendary gotcha that we have here. Plus, they did some other changes to the characters in this game that they did not do in the Korean version. Such as Sophia, one of the stronger characters that you get from the beginning of the game. Very, very good healer with a revive. She is an SR in the korean version but she's an ssr in this version um i believe ash is an sr of there as well i could be wrong on that one i'm sure somebody will correct me if i am in a comment section below but ash is also an ssr in this version as well and guess what guys this is where it gets even better how do you make some of those beginner ssrs maxed out for free you say well i'm glad you asked because i'm about to show you so, if we go to the actual, I'm losing my mind right now, guys, rip. <laughs> if you go to special and you go to dimension gate, you'll notice. Now, you're not going to have all these unlocked because some of these, like Ren, uh, Area, and Malpian, you won't unlock until you beat their stages in the actual story. 
So when you first start, you're probably only going to see Ash and, and Sophia. But what's really cool is, remember with those shards that we talked about earlier in the video? And how you can use them to build up to get your SSRs that you want for free through farming? Well, right here, you can do up to three um, of your dimensions per day. Dimension um, on each of these. Um, I'm sorry. Ugh, I can't talk today, guys. Wow, this is a long video. Whew. So basically, if I clicked uh, Ren, I can go and do normal mode, elite, expert, and master. Now, of course, you have to beat the mode before to unlock the, the higher difficulty. So if you want to unlock elite, you got to beat normal. If you want to unlock expert, you got to be elite. If you want to unlock master, you got to beat expert. And of course, they give you more and more rewards. You will get one guaranteed shard per run of that character that you chose to go into. So if I do my three runs, you know what? We're just going to do a quick... Um, just for the sake of today's video, I don't want it to be too long. I'm going to do a quick normal run. I don't want it to be, I don't want to do master because it could take a few minutes. So let's just quickly go in and do a quick normal run just so I can kind of show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Now, this is excellent because there really is no time limit for these. Uh, I don't know if they're going to like change them out with other heroes in the future um, and then just put them on a rotation or not. But for, for right now, for the foreseeable future, it's like perma these five characters. And by the way, all five of these characters you get for free um, in the game. You'll get a copy of Ren for free in the story. You'll get a dupe free copy of Ash in the story. You'll get a copy of Malpian in the story. You'll get a copy of Aria in the story. So you're going to get all these five characters for free. And as you can see here, we just completed that. All right. Now look at the rewards. We got one Ren Soulstone. And like I said, you can do this three times a day. I would focus on just one until you get enough dupes of that character and then you can start focusing on others. So you get three of these per day. You also get a bonus per week and a big bonus per month for completing different um, monthly missions, weekly missions, and of course your daily missions. So you can kind of probably, I would safely say you get either one, possibly even two dupes per month for free just doing this of whatever hero you're going for and then you can max them out and have a very strong ssr and like i said sophia you get and ash you get right off the bat both ssrs both very good right now in the game they'll get you through the early stages and even into hard mode and even help you with raid and in pvp so those are definitely some things that i wanted to talk about um some of the difference between the korean version and the global version that the korean version doesn't have um you know like i said there is that 5% to 2% rate differential, but I think Global makes up for it with the other things that they've added, like the Trek missions. Best free-to-play feature I've seen in a long time, and I've played a lot of gacha games. That feature is just phenomenal. Is there, is there going to probably be bumps in the road in this game down in the future? Absolutely. No game's going to be perfect, and there's always going to be that one F, you know, that one screw up that they're going to have, and of course, your boy Josh is going to talk about it. So don't worry. But as of right now, I can't really complain. I can't really say too many things negative about the game, um, because they've been very, they've been very giving. They've been very generous. The gameplay has been fun. Um, of course, we're lacking game modes and content, but that's because we're still in soft launch. I expect more when the global release drops. But anyways, I just wanted to clear that up, and I wanted to clear up that issue that I had at the beginning of the video. Again, this video was super long. I just wanted to clarify some things, clear some things up, because a lot of people were, like, there, there was a lot of mixed bag, a lot of mixed feelings going on between the community. Like, it's kind of divided, because people are saying things that aren't really true, and given the game really no chance at all to get off the ground when it really hasn't even done anything all that wrong, or if wrong at all. Um, it depends on your perspective, so... I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it and let you guys know. You guys can again let me know what you want, what you think in the comment section below. This video is super long. I'm getting out of here. My throat's starting to hurt, and I'm sure your guys' ears are starting to hurt. So <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a good one uh, for the rest of the night, morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this big old world. Be sure to join us in the Discord in the description below. As always, subscribe if you're new here for some more content. And of course, drop a like if you did, and I'll set. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.